Ho, ho, Merry Christmas, and Happy Holidays. This is John, and this will most likely be my last video of 2021. Uh, you may have not seen a video for the last week and a half, maybe. Um, well, many reasons for that. Uh, I had purged all my older videos so I didn't have anything to like take up that time while I didn't have anything uh, ready to go but also um, two things happened I if you recall from earlier this summer I had an elbow injury during a softball game um, recently I have been doing some physical therapy to improve my range of motion for this elbow currently without stretching it that's where it sits after I, I do my my physical therapy stretches for the day I can get it almost as straight as this one um, just yesterday I probably had it as straight as I've had it for a while now but um, I have been doing the physical therapy during my lunch hour so that's usually when I have my free time to do these videos and haven't had that many uh, free days to do so uh, but also um, approximately I want to say it's about two to three weeks ago I lost my sense of taste and smell and by the time I noticed it fully um, I guess I was already past the state where I could pass it to someone else because we all know what the probable cause for that was uh, but by the time that symptom came along I was testing negative for, day, for multiple days in a row uh, I did feel slightly under the weather like the weekend prior to that happening um, but it was like less than a day, less than 24 hours that I felt like that. And I didn't really think much of it. There was not very strong symptoms, I would say. Uh, but when I lost my sense of smell and taste com pretty much completely, it was uh, worrisome. But like I said, by the time that happened... I guess I had already cleared it because I was testing negative for you know what and that lasted for four to five days after that so I didn't want to do this where I review how food tastes without the ability to taste because that would be unfair um, to the product and to you the viewers so that's a little explanation as to why it's been like a week and a half since I last videotaped. And also I am taking a trip the last week of the year, so I'm not going to have time uh, unless like as I'm out there I find something and I have time to do it while I'm out, which probably won't happen. And I probably won't have a free time to get another video done until at least the beginning of 2022. But I wanted to do this one last one for the year, just to give that explanation. And to finish, finally, my series of craft dinner flavor boosts. This time it is the cotton candy flavor. Um, in this one, it's basically just sugar and coloring. And it gives you this nice pink hue all over. Um, I do have the lights down just so the Christmas tree lights are a little bit more visible. So if uh, this is too dim, that's why. I didn't know if the tree was going to still be up next time I uh, reviewed. And I do remember last time I mentioned that the tree would be up. It was actually, in fact, the day that I put up all the Christmas ornaments, inside and outside, that uh, I felt a little under the weather. And that was one of the reasons why I thought um, I was so tired, 
was because I did all that work that day. So I came inside, it didn't feel great, but I thought it was because I was outside working um, pretty much the whole day. But, as I found out days later, I probably was uh, having the effects of something else. Anyway, let's try this. Craft Dinner Cotton Candy Flavor Boost. I'm hoping in the new year, 2022, Craft uh, America has said that their pizza, ranch, and buffalo wing flavors should become available. And I'll try those three as well. But here we go. Cotton candy flavored macaroni and cheese. And we can't start without getting macaroni noises. Here we go. It's sweet, but it's not like candy sweet. The weirdest thing is really the pink color. It really just tastes like you took a regular macaroni and cheese and you added a little bit of powdered sugar to it maybe. Because I still get the cheesiness and that like buttery creaminess. But it also has a just like an ever so slightly sugary flavor. Cotton candy has like a specific kind of sweetness that I have in my memory that I'm not really getting from this. It really doesn't have that uh, spun sugar flavor. But it's not bad. In fact, it's better than I thought would be. I thought I was going to eat this and be like, what is this? This is like candy, cotton candy, so it tastes like candy. But it doesn't taste like candy. It does have that like powdery texture to it, which I think is that that malodextrin powder is what, uh, it's one of those ingredients that they use to carry flavor that typically wouldn't be powdered. Not necessarily sandy, more chalky, but not like not so chalky that it not that it's like a bad texture. It's like um some cocoa powders, like hot chocolate powder or chocolate milk powder. Sometimes they you can like feel if it's not fully mixed in a little chalky powdery texture to it. That's probably the best way I can describe it. But definitely the weirdest thing about this is the pink color. It's weird that, um, I don't know if you can tell in this, but the sauce still kind of has like a yellowy orange color. But the pinkness almost looks like it got absorbed by the noodles themselves. I want to take like a single noodle. Look, I sucked off all the flavor on that, and the noodle itself has turned pink. Somehow they got the chemical coloring agent in a powdered form 
to not as much color the sauce but more so colored the noodles and I have ripped off the top part of this that has the ingredients that are in English my sand hat has fallen off two grams of sugar per serving but again I ripped off the top part that says how much serving is I know that's less than the whole package so it kind of tastes like you added um, like a drink mix packet to noodles like if they made cotton candy milk powder I know they made chocolate they made vanilla milk powder I know they make strawberry milk powder I know they make strawberry syrup but do they make strawberry milk powder? That's what it kind of tastes like. It kind of feels like. You added that milk powder flavoring mix to macaroni and cheese. So like I said, not bad. The main flavor here I still taste is cheese. It's just got a little bit of sugariness to it. And somehow they've managed to get the coloring from the powder to adhere to a cooked noodle while the cheese sauce still has like a yellow orange color to it so the, the the coloring didn't mix with the cheese sauce it was absorbed by the cooked noodles at least more so because the contrast of the sauce on the noodle looks yellowish orange compared to the really pink hue of the noodle. However, if you look in the bowl, the sauce that's stained in the final bowl does look pink. But there's some orange to it as well in some spots. Well, that's the most curious thing about this to me. How you got a powdered a powdered colorant to stain cooked noodles. In fact, actually a pretty ingenious thing. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Um, of all the craft flavor boost flavors, this is probably the most interesting one. Might not be my favorite of all of them, but interesting to say the least. Um, pay attention to what's going to come up in the next year. I have some cup noodle sodas coming up. I have a pumpkin spice cup noodle with some pumpkin spice spam coming up. We'll mix that together. It should be interesting. Anyway, thank you for joining me for this video. Like I said, this most likely is going to be the last video of 2021. Well, I'll see you next year. Um, like, subscribe, and have a happy holiday. See you in 2022. Bye.